Simriyup has a long and extraordinary history of arts and temples. However, there is another magnificent factor beside the outstanding temples, which is the overlooked crisscross waterways that subtly flow in and out of the city. Among the many sources of water in Simriyup, the stream flowing from the Kalain mountain is one of the main contributors. The water circulate from the mountain top and reaches the Laysap Lake at the end of its course. Moreover, Preong Thong Waterfall and Kwaspin Waterfall are sites that existed from the 9th until the 11th century AD, created to facilitate the waterway as well. Additionally, each irrigation system or temple that was constructed during the period from 802 until 1431 AD is a representation of Hinduism. Since kings at the time were mostly believers of this religion, majesties built their mesmerizing stone temples and waterways to symbolize human relations with the gods and goddesses of Hinduism. This is the reason why most of the temples are built on high elevation and surrounded by bodies of water. The temple usually represents Mount Kaila, also known as the resident of gods or where the gods would rest. Mass bodies of water including barais, river, natural or artificial water sources are considered holy water like the ocean or Ganges. Due to religious beliefs, Khmer people would carve images of the Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva and the holy Shiva Lingam at the bottom of the Galen stream. Angkorian people believe that once the water passes through the carvings, it will turn divine. This holy water will abundantly bless the city as it flows through the irrigation system before reaching the Tanle Sap Lake at the lower point of the terrain elevation. According to the Angkor, a manual for the past, present, and future book, the well-known Simri stream today is not a natural stream at all. However, it is an artificial stream that was diverted from the natural one. The 2003 excavation near the Angkor Thom Northern Gate demonstrated that the actual stream actually began in front of Phnom Dai Temple and passed near Tun Le Sngu Temple before stopping at this gate. Furthermore, the Simdip stream can approximately contain up to 200 million cubic meters of water during rainy seasons. However, the dry season is a bit disappointing because water is scarce. This is a pre-existing problem that happens long ago as well. And this is why we see many kinds of irrigation system built all over Simdip city only to store water for the dry season. Presently, Siemdip Stream is one of the three protected tourist regions in the province under the Royal Decree number 001NS. Therefore, in order to take care of this stream, the authorities have been allocating the people who are living along the stream to a different place. Finally, Many are looking forward to cherishing the beauty of this famous Simdip stream in the future with anticipation, excitement, and future advancement. Soon, the stream will transform itself into a heavenly sight, just as worthy as its name. <laughs>